Hi guys, it's day 317 of the national lockdown here in South Africa and we are on level 3. Um, kind of a, a bit of a peaceful day in a sense, being that I was literally um, groggy because I took two tablets of my anti-anxiety meds when I'm supposed to take one when necessary. Unfortunately, the stress of living at home with someone who is going through a divorce is becoming quite stressful for all of us. Um, I'm not even sure if any of us are still struggling with the symptoms of of COVID, like the fatigue or the aggressiveness, not aggressiveness, and anxiety, because that's unfortunately is the only thing that I'm dealing with right now. Um, every time my brother comes out of the room, my anxiety picks up every time my phone rings my anxiety picks up every time my dad looks at me <laughs> my anxiety picks up because I'm thinking what's wrong with him what what does he need how can I make his life better but at the same time I'm making his life a little bit a little bit crazy sorry I'm just looking at content that I was doing research on and I just got a response <laughs> interesting yeah but anyway so um yeah went out for a braai which my mom had organized with a friend of mine from the theater and we went there and it was nice to um it was nice to to actually have some um fun for a change um, a lot of people are not going out for brides and what have you. Um, there's even um, a movement who wants to remove the masks. My thing is, is that I social distance, I sanitize, and I wore my mask, and I still got COVID. Um, I don't believe that you wearing a mask is going to prevent you from getting um Wearing a mask is not going to prevent you from getting the virus. I'm just saying that it's... <sighs> Flip, how do I say this? I'm just saying that even though you're wearing a mask, you can still get COVID. 